Oh yeah. It's a good day. Ford realized that there are so many of these cam phaser jobs out there, they needed to make our task as mechanics a little bit easier. So the great news I have for you guys is we now have a one-stop shop box for cam phasers. This is a Ford kit, Ford box. See, we got a Ford part number right there if you guys want to go buy one of these for yourself. This is every single thing you need to do a cam phaser job minus you know, fluids. So let's open this thing up and see what we have. So one thing to note right off the bat, this is for Gen 2, 3, 5, 2017 to 2020, 21 if it's an expedition. That's what this is for. This is not for the Gen 1s, the 11 to 16 trucks. This is the old style cam phaser. You'll notice here in just a second when I pull one of these out that they have been updated. I've only been talking about that for long time now this is the cam phasers they got them all in one box for me now i can't believe this man you know how long i've been ordering 37 individual parts for these jobs i mean i basically have every part number memorized for them at this point look at them bad boys look at them bad boys <laughs> updated cam phaser no more rattle this one rattle every day every day when you crank me i rattle this one no rattle Beautiful. All four cam phasers in one box. Check me out. Check me out. What else do we got? An Earl filter. Look at that. An FL500 because they were smart enough to go back to the original numbers because nobody wants to learn new part numbers. That was stupid. That was really dumb. We have an entire gasket kit in one bag. Would you guys believe that? I don't have to sit here with a razor blade and open 37 freaking bags. I cannot believe this, guys. What else do we have here? This water pump gasket. This is garbage because we're going to put a new water pump on it, obviously. And we have all of our bolts, even the crank bolt. So super, super stoked for the cam phaser kit. We've been doing these. This is like our third or fourth one we've gotten. Wanted to check them out and make sure they were you know, legit before I told you guys about them. But this is going to save you at home if you want to do this repair a lot of uh, hassle because you're just going to be able to give them one part number and have every single thing you need to fix the cold start rattle issue on the 3.5 liter EcoBoost.